the crest quest continues. So I'm here in Pandarinurx Delve at the very top part. There's an NPC named <laughs> Mondarinurx. Yeah, Mondarinurx. What a name. I visited her yesterday after I made the previous video, and I saw she was taking a weird ratio. It was 30, no, I think 27 private crests to 15 of the other two. I visited her again today and she changed, so this NPC seems to be a changing NPC in terms of what crest she takes more of, because unlike the one in the main fort of Danny Water Spire or the Elias version, this one actually has a weird ratio of it's not even. And I can actually afford this due to the beauty of television magic, so for everyone's sake, I'm going to go ahead and buy one and then I'm going to record what I get. Are you ready to be either amazed or not? Because I have a feeling this one isn't as good. And I lied. Wow. Okay, that might even be better. Oh, I don't know. I think the major Daniwar relics are worth 10k each compared to the non. I'm gonna go Calcut. Okay, I'm approaching the Shugo again. Opportunity is here for the taking. So I can turn in, let's see. I got 30.6k from those. And then from the relics of my inventory, minus the ones that I don't count, which are the crown. I got 10.2. Is that right? Yeah, I got 10.2. So 10.2 plus 30.6, was it? Yeah. 40,800. So it's not quite as much, but honestly, not too much less. Okay, I moved again. So the difference seems to be about 13k AP. I'm not surprised that the one that costs more of each is going to be better. And it probably will be overall. But I wanted to point out that Shugo because the ratio is more friendly for people that can't get all three forts. Maybe you can only get two. So that could be useful. And I mean, you can get all three if you just wait a long enough time. But again, if you want to just try that way, that's fine too. But I'm glad I found it so I could show up both, especially the day right after. Anyway, take care, everyone.